welcome to the application delivery how-to video series. My name is Brandon Anderson. Today we're going to cover the topic of how to use the custom config script. iRule conversion is a manual process. The reason is because there are several different ways to write an iRule to accomplish the same outcome, which makes automating the conversion difficult. For all iRules in the migration scope, typically that's just the ones in use, determine which obby object best fits the iRule use case, then create the appropriate object in the obby UI. The custom config script will complete a get API call on the controller and capture the raw JSON for all policies and data scripts on the controller. It will then convert the raw JSON into YAML and create a properly formatted file called converted underscore iRules.yaml that can then be called by the migration tool. The script is available on GitHub and in the Avi Tools Docker container starting in version 21.1.5 and 22.1.1. You can run it with the command in the CLI, Python 3, dash C for the controller IP or FQDN, dash U for username, dash P for password. An important note, for iRules with multiple matches and actions, you will need to configure a policy set with multiple indexes. When configuring multiple indexes in the UI, you need to save each index with a unique name. I typically use a name from the action as the suffix to make the name unique. For example, the pool name if I'm doing a content switch, or in this example, dash mobilesecure.com. The script uses the longest match to determine the iRule name. This is important because this name is used in mapping which policies need to be configured to which VSs when the migration tool runs. If the longest match does not reflect the name of the original iRule, the policy won't be mapped to the correct virtual service in Avi. When multiple indexes are used, you need to provide two dashes and the same unique suffix for all of the indexes. For example, dash dash foo dash dash one. To start off this demo, we're going to start off with showing you where you can find this script. It is on GitHub in the VMware repo in the AOB SDK Python Avi Tools Migration Tools and the custom config script.py. As we moved over to our text editor, we have a big IP.conf. We're going to focus on one virtual service, this 01 HOL Advanced HTTPS VS. You can see that it has three iRules on it deny list, insert true client IP, and actual iRule name. I'm going to make sure my Docker container is running. I'm going to enter my Docker container with the docker exec it avi tools bash command, and then move over to the correct directory. Moving over to our Avi UI, you can see I have a demo VS configured here. As I edit that, go to policies, you can see I have my deny list already configured. And then I also have my insert true client IP and my actual iRule name. Because this is a iRule with multiple matches and actions, I need to tie these together. And you can see that I have the suffix dash dash one on both of them. I'm going to move back over to my text editor and run the custom config script with Python 3 custom config.py dash C for control IP dash U for username dash P for password. In the top left pane, you can see I now have the converted iRules.yaml. You can see I have my deny list, my true client IP. and my actual iRUL name. I'm now going to run the migration tool, calling that file with f5 converter.py dash f for the bigip.com file name dash dash controller version for the, I'm running a 21.1.4 dash dash ansible dash o is for output directory. I want to put it in the migration folder dash dash vs filter filtering just on the virtual service and scope and the dash dash custom config calling the file name of the file we just generated. As that runs, you can see that it has now generated or created the migration directory.
and you can see the create playbook and the delete playbook where you're interested in the obvi config create object playbook as i filter on our virtual service and scope you can see the name of the virtual service the 01 hol advanced httpvs you can see the http references with our insert truecon ip the actual i rule name and also our network security policy ref, the deny list. I'm now gonna push that playbook to the controller using Ansible dash playbook, calling the playbook dash E for extra vars, the controller IP, the username and the password. You can see it's now creating the child objects. Now, as we move back over to our Avi controller and refresh it, we will have our new cre newly created virtual service. Clicking on edit, going to policies, we can see our deny list policy is now there. And we go to HTTP request, we can see our insert, insert true client IP policy is there. Clicking our drop down, we can see the actual IRL name. Notice that the suffix is gone and both indexes are in there. Thanks for watching. Please check out our other videos in our application delivery how to series.